welcome back to my channel. This is Lindsay. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not, welcome back. So some exciting news in 2023, or I should say at the at very end of 2022 to 2023, I became a dog mom. And I'll just show you guys. He's playing right here. This is my little, um, this is my little 13 week old Frenchie. Um, his name is Rocco. So yes, yes, he has caused a lot of havoc and craziness and um, excitement into my life, but I love him so, so much nevertheless. So I'm gonna let him play with his toys again. If you've ever gotten a puppy before, you already know how overwhelming it can be with all the items on the market. So I'm just hoping this video can just give you a little, just some pointers on what to at least start with and keep in mind things that didn't really work for me, but that may work for you. Mostly everything I got from Amazon. Amazon has been my absolute best friend throughout this whole process. First, I'm gonna talk about things that are essential for all breeds, and then I'm gonna talk about things that um, are a little more important for a bulldog or another brachiocephalic breed. I guess there's nothing left to do but just get right into the video. So let's go. So one of the first things you wanna think about is a leash, harness, and collar. So this is the harness and leash that I have for Rocco and why this is one of the first things is because you want to start to leash train them as early as you can uh, this is most likely the first time they're they have anything around their neck anything around their body that somewhat you know restricts them and control them and they're gonna at first kind of react to like what are you doing why are you pulling me this way but I, it's important because if you're gonna be walking them you just want to expose them right away most likely they're gonna be little babies who can't hold their bladder so it's good to have some sort of control where they free roam and so like I said this is the harness that I have for Rocco it's from Sassy Wolf, if you can, um, if they'll focus on the name there. Uh, you can find them on Instagram. It's a part of their pup box in neon blue. So this is a coordinated leash. And it also included a little like poop bag right here that you can attach right onto the leash. And what I, <laughs> What also I have clipped onto his leash is this little tree pouch as well. Now, this has been a life savior when it has come to potty training because at first I just had his treats in a little, it, at first I just had his treats in a little sandwich bag and as you know with puppies you have to take them out like every hour you have to take them out all the time so sometimes I would forget you know as I'm putting my coat and everything on to get the treat baggy to reward him when he goes to potty outside see now he wants now he thinks i'm gonna give him a treat which we are gonna actually practice our commands on camera so you know how well it works sit sit oh good boy good boy okay so this is has been very convenient because i clip it right onto the leash here clip it right onto the leash here so that when we go outside I don't forget about it and it's super easy access to treats you just open this pouch up right here treats don't be slipping out so this is like I said important with potty training so you can reward them right away when they go out so they make that positive association and learn yes I'm supposed to use the bathroom outside okay this is another important item if you plan to I mean, carrying your little puppy around. It can be used in the car as kind of like something to restrict them in the car. I bought it because I was, I flew to get Rocco. And so this was a, a T, TSA approved bag. And I had him, I had it under the seat with him in it and he flew with me. Also in the car, he has fallen asleep in it multiple times so it has this little furry um, bed here and it's nice and small and comfortable for him and it's a nice size for him right now as an adult he is not going to be using this and it will be a little too small for him but for now this got the job done and i recommend this especially if you're going to be flying with your puppy or on a fly to get it so this is another amazon purchase that i used 
Another important thing is the crate, you guys, the cage. So this is so important because you want to start crate training them from day one. It's gonna feel mean and they're gonna scream and cry, especially that first night because they're, they're away from their litter maze, they're away from their mom for the very first time and they're alone and they're not gonna like that. So it's gonna feel mean, but I promise it gets better each and every day. Uh, Rocco definitely screamed and still sometimes screams, but he calms down and he eventually goes to sleep. So it's perfectly fine. Even if you don't plan on them sleeping in it every night, he definitely doesn't sleep in it every night uh, to be transparent. But it is important because we cannot always keep our eye on our puppy 24 seven. You definitely do not want to have a puppy free roaming the house because it prevents them ingesting something and choking on something. It prevents them jumping off of something and breaking a leg. I've seen it so many times in the hospital. Now there are toys to help alleviate some of those nerves such as Kong toys, lick mats, and you can even like sprinkle some treats in the towels in there to have to make the crate feel like a fun place and a positive place to be. And a great, a very popular toy that I've heard about when getting a, a puppy is the snuggle puppy. Now the purpose of this is supposed to mimic a litter mate or their mom because it has a fake heartbeat and a heating pad that lasts for so many hours and it helps especially with um, those first couple nights. Puppies like to snuggle against their litter mates when they're sleeping so it helps sort of mimic that experience so it, it will help them sleep. This is a quite an unpopular opinion but this has not helped as much in that respect now I do have the snuggle puppy in there every night so he has something soft to lay up against but it has become a little more of a chew toy more than like an anxiety helping toy I don't use the heartbeat because it's kind of loud and he would just like look at it and like cock his head for the first few times like what is this so I don't know if he got it I mean I keep it in his cage, but he definitely like chews and plays with it more than uses it for like a comforting thing. So that's just my experience though. I know there's so many positive reviews about this. Also a great Amazon purchase, but yeah, that's just my experience. So this is a dog car seat. Now, if you have not heard of this before, I know there's people who don't know that even exists. It is a safety thing to strap your dog in because Especially when they're puppies, they're not going to be used to the car and they're going to want to be on your lap while you're driving and that, you know, creates a safety hazard. So if you look on Amazon, they have so many different styles. They have like box shaped car seats. They have seats that like sit up high, like a booster seat. They have like little like beds basically like this one. There are so many different choices that is just up to you as the owner what you want. My family thought I was doing a little much when I got this. But I just feel like if we are strapped in, we have our our seatbelts, you strap toddlers in, why not your dog? So this is my child as well. So dog car seat, go get one. <laughs> Another essential item is the playpen and I'll show you guys a different view of it because it's actually right across from me all right so i turned the camera around to show you guys his little playpen area so in here we have the donut bed now it's i'm gonna be completely honest and say that i just put it here for this video because he likes to um play with it and pee on it more than he actually sleeps on it i just washed it for this video <laughs> it had pee on it before speaking of pee we have this big washable three layer pad instead of the pee pads because he has honestly since day one has torn it up and so he likes to tear it up and so we honestly don't even have pee pads in this house because he just yeah it just didn't serve its purpose and then we have the basket with his toys of course so yes you guys this is a little um playpen area that he hangs out if we are cooking or something like that and can't keep our eye on him 100% of the time and once want a bigger space that he can chill we put him in here and that is his hangout spot this is another safety item it's called the 
Pet Cube Bites 2 model. It is a pet camera. It is for monitoring your little one when they are left home alone. The really cool thing with this model and what separates it from the other models on the site, instead of just being a camera, you can also store treats in this little compartment right here and dispense treats. And you can also talk to the animal and receive like the audio bag. It is just very, very cool, you know, while you're away. There's also interaction with your animal that you can have to help calm, calm their nerves, give treats, you know, when they're being good and, and just having that interaction while you are away. I think it's really, really cool. So um, I cannot wait to use this item more and I will definitely, you know, keep you guys updated with what I think. So yes, very excited about that. Essential items for training. Rocco just started some training classes as a puppy. It is a clicker. Now, the purpose of a clicker is to help associate getting a treat with the sound of clicking. So they do the command, you click, and then you give a treat. So it's definitely an association that helps you. And along with that, I also got for the class a treat pouch. Now I have this around my waist, so it has very easy access to, you know, me reaching in something and get grabbing and getting him a treat. So having a treat pouch is also a very essential item when you are training. And this was bought at at PetSmart so this is not an Amazon purchase but yeah it helps now on that same token you want to have a variety of treats this is definitely up to the owner some people use fruit as treats some people use their kibble which I have I use a lot of his kibble for treats as well but I just you know sometimes I want to like mix it up and and you know have and try different things I have you know treats by solid gold that is lamb and sweet potato flavor I have um, salmon blue buffalo treats and I also have bacon and pork flavored treats as well so another important thing as a dog owner as you want to have a variety of toys on hand that they can play with now i know this is so overwhelming because there's so many choices and different types of toys out there but some different kinds you can start with is the squeaky toy now this is something that is for sure going to get their attention yeah you see see he stopped messing with this car seat over here and now I have his attention and he wants to get to it. <laughs> you like this squeaky toy, huh? So this is a good toy. Make sure when you do get squeaky toys, they are not easily, you know, they're very durable. Oh my God. They're very durable because dogs will just want to get to the squeaker and that causes a choking hazard. So you want something that is very, um, not easily rippable. So don't get cheap. Uh, squeaker toys so that's just my point there um, this Kong toy is another one of his favorites very durable not easy to be ripped apart and he loves it so I also you know I love this Kong toy as well very good for that and rope toys rope toys are another you know good Thing to introduce um, you can play tug of war with it introduce the command drop it he also has this really cute carrot rope toy so now they have the puzzle toys they have um kong toys that are really good i don't those kongs are in the refrigerator but you can fill them up with treats and keep them busy especially if you're cleaning doing stuff around the house having them in their crate their cage and just licking it again keeping them busy for a while so you can get some stuff done those are really good puzzle toys keeps them busy and there's just so many choices so having a different variety you guys having out finding out what their preferences are they may prefer some one type of toy at eight weeks and another type of toy at 12 weeks you just don't know or they may be like Rocco and you buy all these toys and they prefer the Amazon box that it came in or a plastic water bottle that fell on the floor so there's also that find out what works for you and what their favorites are this is an Amazon purchase and if you have a puppy that likes to chew on everything like him and put everything in his mouth it's like bitter apple spray that 
causes them to, you know, taste it and it's achy and it causes them to just stop chewing. So this is a great, great purchase. No chew spray. Okay, the Ferminator brush. Another great tool. Owners, PSA, just because you have a short haired dog does not mean that they don't shed. It's not like a normal brush. It really, really, really gets down to the skin. Exposing them early helps later on when you want to brush them, especially if it's going to be something that's routine with those long haired dogs. Another thing I want to talk about in terms of being handled, the nail trimmers. Even just touching uh, your dog's paws with the nail trimmers helps so much when it comes to building up their sensitivity to these type of things. And again, handling your puppy now helps them from when they're older and they have to be handled by the groomer, the veterinarian, and you know, places like that. This is an ear cleaner. I mean, this is definitely um, another another thing you want to get them used to is having their ears clean if you have an allergy prone dog that can get ear infections it's good to expose them maybe even just like once every two weeks just expose them to a little bit to the motion of cleaning their ears the breed specific things brachiocephalic thing this is a wrinkle wipe pack and this is wrinkle paste now this is important to help you know prevent the case of you know skin full dermatitis because these are breeds that have a smush face so they can get bacteria build up in those skin folds so yeah it just helps clean their face basically and just using the wipes to wipe um, off any bacteria any dirt that gets in between and then having a paste that sort of helps moisturize and just having a healthy cleaning protective cream that goes in between those skin folds that we can't see is really good. I'm just introducing it, just wiping his face every so often. And a very, very important thing is you wanna do when doing this is giving them a treat. When they let you wipe, give a treat. Even with the ear solution, uh, cleaning their ears once, give a treat because again create that positive association with giving a treat like okay this isn't so bad because I get to be fed and if you have a food motivated dog it helps so much when it comes to you know training and getting them used to things you want them to do so these are great tools and also the the natural dog company has a lot of good products as well paw soother um, to help with dry paws and then snout soother as a little balm for the noses they tend to lick their nose a lot and it gets dry so that's also like a balm to help that and then the the skin soother as well so these are really great things to use so the last thing I want to talk about for the breed specific items are the fluff trough feeders. So this is a feeder that is elevated. As you can see, it has different inserts and it's curved to help reduce mess that they may that they may have when eating. And then it's also a slow feeder that helps them slow down when they're eating so they don't intake, you know, they don't inhale so much air and it helps decreases the chances of blow and gas and it just really helps them out. And it also has this open concept and um, this curve up. So, you know, it just helps them get to their food much easier because of their smush face. And I also use this stainless steel insert for water. So, I mean, he seems to love it a lot and I like it. It just helps me feel better that I have a feeder that, that helps him get to his food easier. So, I mean, I don't know. I think it's worked wonders and I really like it. All right, you guys. Well, that is the end of my list. Again, becoming a dog parent is so, so overwhelming. I hope this video helped you just think about some items that you want to have for your puppy or I helped it shed, it may have shed light on some items that you haven't thought about. It's so many, so much stuff out there. Just take it one day at a time and it, you know, it all just comes together when the little one gets here, it's all worth it. So I can't wait for you guys to see him as he grows up. 
on this channel and my other social media platforms. I will definitely keep you in the loop with having, if you want Rocco related videos and updates, definitely let me know in the comments below. But for now, we will see you. We will see you later and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say, say bye. <laughs> oh my God, she's so tired. <laughs>